Bats, I got a new painting underway for Larry Brogan's gallery in uh, it's not Chicago, it's in Illinois, the uh, Flower of Life Gallery, the Frisette Inspiration Show. And uh, this is my uh, where I start off my sort of underpainting. And I'm uh, not feeling too great today, I got something, something's going around, but I can't stop, gotta do it anyway. So, uh, what we got so far, the crazy witch woman with a couple of demons, three demons, a monkey baboon, demon baboon. And uh, this is stage one, got the drawing on there, so I'm going to uh, whoop some paint on it and come back and show you again in a few minutes. Oh, hey, while I'm, while I'm here, while I got you here, I um, wanted to show you something. My new friend Daniel Picard. No relation to Star Trek. Uh, talk about above and beyond the Call of Duty. This guy bought about 10 pounds of books. He got Fantasy Art Paintings, Volumes 1, 2, 3, 300 Fantasy Science Fiction Ink Drawings, Comic Book Reader 1 and 2, uh, Secrets of Drawing, plus uh, Blue Bush and Robin Scruso, which I've offered to the mailing list. Uh, some rare copies turned up. So, thank you so much, Daniel. Getting ready to send a painting off to Larry Brogan's uh, gallery, Flower of Life Gallery, art show, the Frazetta um, Inspiration Show. And so my contribution's all done now. Painting's all finished, many sessions done on it. And um, it turned out pretty good. Not sure what I'll call it yet, sorceress and minions, or servants of the sorceress, or something like that. So anyway, I promised you a uh, show it to you. There it is. God damn! Well, damn people! It's huge. That's powerful. Look at that. I'm just gonna hit me right between my eyes. Gotta be impressive. Mm -hmm. This is the Frazetta thing? Yeah. I just hope now, is this going into a book, like a collected book, right? I don't think so. I don't know anything about that. But it's going to be on display, like as an original? Yeah, it's going to be in this frame. Okay, yeah, it's you're going to yeah. you're going to just blow them the fuck away because if they see the original, they're going to see that you know all the tricks. Here's some more stuff that's happening this week, and a lot is happening this week. We got our new uh, Spanish editions of uh, Tomb uh, magazine collections. Real nice paper. Uh, it looks like about 200 pages, something like that. So uh, Hoffman and Crawley spread out into Europe. And uh, also, same company, uh, Tyrannosaurus Books, released the Spanish. Uh, edition of Madame Tarantula. Here again, nicely done job. Look what they did with some of the layout on this stuff. Kind of unusual, not the way I'd do it necessarily, but it's good. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, left handed drawings. Here's today's batch. Always start off with these, at least lately. Um, just helps you to. Um, get out of your habits. Oh, here's a cute one. I drew it this way, it could go that way. I'm a dragon. Yeah, it's good for the soul. I like this one a lot. Maybe you can explain it to me. That too. I was drawing this and I began to think about the racetrack I had way back in uh, toy racetrack in what, 1969 or 70? Hadn't thought about that in a while. Anyway, the left hand, via the left hand, those memories got triggered. What else we got? A stack of roughs. Now we saw this painting, uh, what, last time edition of the weblog, I think. Well, the rough was just Greytown. Uh, uh, oh yeah, brown paper with markers and white. The woman in the woods with all these little 
of gnome things. It might make a good painting. Uh, painting with fawn women, a skeleton in a throne, and vampire women in the back. Oh, uh, now th this is interesting. These drawings, I start with white. So there's no pencil, no black, no nothing. I, I literally begin drawing with white. I draw the light coming, light source coming down. Um, this was a potential painting for the Frazetta show, and I uh, didn't wind up doing it. Uh, maybe I'll still do it. It might be good to do this one really big. Uh, more drawing with white first. Uh, the gray paper. Don't like that quite as much as the uh, brown paper. It's not uh, the, the warmth is nice. Uh, cave lighting. Yeah, well, uh, a tremendous amount of classical art is like that. Spotlight uh, coming down. Of course, we're to use the same thing too. But that's where it comes from originally. And um, I've done a lot more of those, and I can really go into showing. Now, you know, there's a new project I've taken on. There's a fellow. Um, Keith Braun, who does a comic called Elementus, and um, he's done quite a few issues of this. He contacted me to do a cover. I said, sure, I'll be happy to do a cover. And uh, he sent me some reference material. I said, are these your, your, your thumbnails, your roughs? And he said, yeah. And I said, geez, you know, I can draw your book in a heartbeat from these things. So anyway, basically, I'm drawing someone else's comic. Wow, he was surprised. But not, not a surprise to me where I'm at now. It's like, so... Uh, Happy to do it. This is the latest page for that. It's a crazy sort of paranormal thing, I guess. Maybe like a X Files meets the paranormal or something. I don't know. But uh, basically, we got Keith's Ross, and uh, you know he does pretty good with these thumbnails. And I basically fix things, tweak things, um, add my own thing to it. And you know I'm really enjoying it. So, um, that's a page from it. Here's a page. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So, what you're supposed to do with comics, right? Here's Keith Roth. Oh, well, he's doing good, though. He's doing good. Well, there's another one. This is the sort of. I guess this, yeah, this chick's a ghost, but comes off like a superhero sort of thing. Not sure what's going to happen to these pages, these originals. You know, I ink these things in Sharpie markers on 12 by 18 cardstock. And, uh, at this point in my career, it's like it seems perfectly adequate and suitable to do it this way, and it's really, really, really fast. I have a couple tricks I use. I'll take a post-it note, put it up to an edge, and then come off it with the marker like that. I do it on the edges of the pictures like this. Um, all kinds of little techniques to help the marker work for you instead of against you. It's kind of a blunt line. Here's another nice page. Let's zoom in, shall we? Still in the graveyard discussing things. And um, yeah, I like that too. Oh, it's so nice to be in love with your own work. So, anyway, that's a 20 page story. It's come along nicely. Um, got a commission for a 20 by 24 oil painting for my website. And um, it's going to be the same size as the painting I did for the Frazetta show. Uh, probably three women sirens um, uh, on the ocean shore sort of thing. So um, I guess I'll show you for now. So see you soon.